Hello, in this video I'm going to be introducing you to screencasting and what you can do with it. Basically, screencasting is just recording your computer screen and you might want to record your voice as well. You do, you do screencasting by using software such as Camtasia Studio, that's my favourite piece of screencasting software. But why would you want to do it? Why would you want to record your computer screen? Well there's quite a few things that you can do with it. You could record a presentation, a bit like what I'm doing now. I've got a PowerPoint presentation on my screen. I'm clicking through the files as I talk. And it could be a way of you doing another version of a presentation, a lecture, a conference presentation that people who couldn't make the actual event can watch. You can also use it to give feedback to students and some staff at Edgehill are starting looking at doing this. Basically, you would have their work on screen you'd be able to use your mouse to point things out and talk them through things that they could have done, word, different words they could have used just as if they were sitting next to you and it's quite, a, quite an interesting way of giving students feedback. You could use it to show students how to find something on a website or your web CT area or how to use a piece of software. Perhaps a lot of students were having the same problem. You could create a little video and show them through what you do to um, do whatever they're having a the problem with. And to do a quick demonstration, we'll take you to the Learning Technology Development blog where we created some WebCT training videos and they were used by staff who wanted to create their own WebCT areas. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of videos in there and the idea is staff can come along when they need help and spend between one and four minutes watching a video on the topic of their choice. They could watch the whole, all the videos if they wanted, or just one or two. So that's what screencasts are, and in some of these future videos we're going to have a look at how we can create them.